We made it to Friday, September the 9th. It's about 3 in the morning. I keep a watch on this uh, solar flare CME burst we've had. So let's go ahead and get updated. As we know, we're already still apparently going to get the effects of whatever it may be projected on the 9th through the 11th a series of coronal mass ejections propelled towards the earth by recent eruption of sunspot 1283 will deliver glancing blows to earth's magnetic field on September the 9th through the 11th okay I don't remember mentioning the 11th on yesterday's article but now that has been included apparently that's our timeline high latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras in the nights ahead okay uh... the active sunspot 1283 is producing flares so intense they're visible through solar telescopes in backyards ninety three million miles away amateur astronomer andy Deavy photographed this one from Barnsley UK on September the 8th and you can click this and watch it erupt. The magnetic canopy of 1283 has an unstable beta gamma delta configuration that harbors energy for more powerful eruptions. NOAA forecasters estimate a 75% chance of M flares three out of four and a 25% chance of X flares during the next 24 hours one and four so they told us what they have and we shall see we have a mercury directed CME <laughs> on September the 8th around 2300 UT the SOHO and stereo spacecraft detected a significant CME emerging from the far side of the Sun Earth is not in the line of fire but the planet Mercury is Analysts at the Goddard Space Weather Lab estimate that the cloud will reach the innermost planet on September the 9th at 12 UT plus or minus 7 hours. And you can click this little thing, we will here in a minute. Just let it run and you can watch it. Or just come over here. We'll click it. NASA's Messenger spacecraft is in orbit around Mercury so it'll have a front row seat for the impact. Researchers are keen to learn how Mercury's magnetosphere responds to CMEs. In particular, they wonder if CMEs can overpower Mercury's magnetic field and sputter atoms right off the planet's surface. Thanks to the Goddard forecast, messengers controllers know the CME is coming and they can prepare to observe the impact. Mm-hmm. Well, feel sorry for Mercury. And this is your little model that you can let run. And you can observe the CME in its path. So, the next thing, well, we know now. 9th through the 11th. We already knew about the 9th, so now they stretch it out to the 11th. So, you got all these weird... It's really strange, isn't it? You got all these weird dated numbers. Uh, September 9-11 will be the 10th anniversary of 9-11. And then you have Elenin close point to the Sun 9-11 and now they've included 11 as a possible part of the arrival date for these flares that have been released recently so let's go over here and see what's going on here and this is spaceobs.org Leonid Elenin and as you can see 
counting down to perihelion and I still can't get anything but a blank page to come up for it. If any of you have been able to read that article and it's coming up on your computer, let me know because this is the only thing that hadn't come up on mine of anything or anywhere, whatever I look at. He's got to know because I did see uh, someone put a comment down that it was blank and they couldn't see it either. Let's go look at some of these comments here. And this is uh, <clears throat> the latest. So these comments will be some of the latest ones. Okay. I think this is a couple that I found interesting okay well, I think this is it Edgar asked him hi Leonid I urgently need to answer these questions please the comet continuous process of disintegration he's asking if it is my opinion is that the images of Francis Walsh are not reliable says that the comet is intact when it is not. Thanks in advance. Okay. And then he says, Hi Edgar. Nucleus is intact on some images taken with different filter. We try to understand this. Hmm. I think that statement speaks for itself. And then we come down to here. Oh, this is interesting. Gina asks, or states, You had stated that the object found on the Google sky was a carbon star. I have watched this star move from the far left of Mercury to now the right over the past few weeks. Is this normal? Is the star in motion? If so, what path is it taking? It seems to be on the same course as your comet. And he answers, yes, this is carbon star and I'm repeat Google Sky or Microsoft Virtual Telescope, not a telescopes. This is just archive of astronomical images which may taken in different years. Okay, so he has just said what we think about this that we're wrong. He says these are archived images from different years and that this is not current. And as you can see, there's Mercury. When we looked at this last time, yes, she is correct. It was to the left. I have no explanation why it's to the right other than, <laughs> like she thought, it would be in motion. But according to Oh, excuse me. According to Leonid Elenin, it is not moving and it is not current. This is just archive of astronomical images which may taken in different years. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all with some, some of those thoughts and you might hop on over to uh, spaceobs.org and read through those comments and see what is Mr. Ellen actually saying when he's asked the, the questions because some of the answers are quite as you see rather interesting so you all have a good weekend We've got one more day left most of us that work Monday through Friday and uh, 
you know, everybody be watchful and aware and try to have a good weekend and hopefully it'll be uneventful. We really do really, really hope that all this stuff uh, is wrong. I've said it a million times. I hope all this stuff is wrong and I hope we got a, a lot longer of a timeline. But if we don't, just be aware of everything and try to have fun and live your life but still be conscious of uh, what what you were aware of so y'all have a nice weekend I'll talk to you pretty soon anything comes up I'll bring it out and let you know as quick as I can so God bless everyone y'all a fine group of people I appreciate all your comments uh, and your messages and the videos that you send me to watch and the interaction between us uh, I got I got shielded a couple of times but uh, I guess that goes with the territory so I'll holler at you all later watch the skies got a lot of stuff up there <laughs>